Navy says it did what only the US has until now, flown a large drone off the deck of an aircraft carrier. A large, specially modified drone successfully flew from Britain's newest aircraft carrier, the Royal Navy announced, in a major milestone that only the US had until now managed to achieve. In a trial off the coast of Virginia, the remotely piloted drone, a Mojave unmanned aircraft, took off from and landed back on the deck of the Queen Elizabeth class HMS Prince of Wales while the vessel was undergoing training with US forces, the Royal Navy said in a Friday statement. Mojave drones were developed from the MQ-1C Grey Eagle and MQ-9 Reaper and are adapted for short takeoffs and landings. They are nearly 30 feet long and have a 56-foot long wingspan. Britain said that no uncrewed system of this size has ever flown from an aircraft carrier outside the US Navy before, and the trial also showed how drones can operate alongside crewed aircraft like the fifth-generation F-35 stealth fighter jet stationed aboard the British carrier. The success of this trial heralds a new dawn in how we conduct maritime aviation and is another exciting step in the evolution of the Royal Navy's carrier strike group into a mixed crewed and uncrewed fighting force, Rear Admiral James Parkin, who helped plan the trial, said in the statement. A video shared by the official HMS Prince of Wales account to social media shows the Mojave, which is capable of long endurance missions and can be heavily armed with as many as 16 Hellfire missiles, operating from the deck of the carrier. General Atomics, which developed the Mojave, Grey Eagle, and Reaper, said the demonstration took place on Wednesday and included takeoffs, circuits, approaches, and the landing. Seeing our Mojave operate successfully in this environment opens myriad new ways our aircraft can be used to support multi-domain naval operations, the company wrote in a statement. By giving unmanned systems the capacity to make short takeoffs and landings, it added, these aircraft can operate in areas that might otherwise not be possible. The Royal Navy's Second Sea Lord Vice Admiral Martin Connell said unmanned systems represent the next logical step to making sure that the maritime force is capable of fighting in an increasingly complex operating environment.